hello. Good morning. Welcome to a self-care day in my life. I'm literally just going to vlog my day today. This video is sponsored by Sephora Collection. So I'm going to do a little quick get ready with me. This is like my um, new like everyday makeup routine for 2021, you know, new year, new makeup. <laughs> okay, let's just get started. Um, you guys know that I love a uh, no makeup makeup look. So my everyday makeup is pretty much exactly that. So this is the new Sephora collection best skin ever foundation. This has a light to medium coverage it's very buildable and i really like the consistency of it because it's not too watery and it's also not too creamy to the point where it feels like um there's like a heavy layer of makeup on my face so i just do one pump on the back of my hand by the way i am the color 31y and as you can see with this consistency it's not too watery and it's not too thick either, which I really appreciate. So I am just going to lightly dab this on. I really like doing this technique to get like a really natural coverage. I don't like going with my brush directly onto the product because um, it gives me like a really uneven finish. So I like to dab light layers onto my skin and then blend it out with a brush. And this is the Sephora Collection Makeup Match Brush. And this was actually specifically designed for the formulation of this product. So as you can see, it gives you a really, really nice finish. And because the formula is not very thick, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like heavy makeup. And then on my forehead, my forehead is a lot darker than the rest of my face. So sometimes like foundation can get a little ashy up there. <laughs> just because it's a different undertone and a different color from the rest of my face. So I like to go in very, very light layers when I get to my forehead and then build up as needed, build up the coverage as needed. Also, sorry if you can hear my neighbors upstairs like running around and stomping. There is a child upstairs um, and Apparently their father just lets them do whatever they want. So, um, you know, I've made a formal complaint. There is a more permanent solution um, on the way, but for now, we're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so this foundation is buildable. So if you wanted a little bit more coverage, you could go ahead with, with uh, like another uh, layer if you wanted, but I really like a no makeup makeup look. So um, I don't really mind that you can see a little bit of like dark spots and like freckles and things like that because I still want my skin to show. I still want it to look natural. So I actually don't mind when stuff looks like this. But if you prefer like a more full coverage, um, you can go ahead and go in with another layer. It's very, very easy to um, build this, build the coverage of this foundation. So now we're going to do concealer. I don't have my concealer brush. I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'm just gonna use my finger, which is fine because this is an everyday makeup look. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. And because I want this to look natural, I'm only going to apply this where it's like, you know, kind of dark under my eyes. I'm not going to do like a whole whoosh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to lightly blend that in. Oh my God, these people upstairs are unbelievable. <laughs> like, you know, it's a pandemic. I totally understand, you know, I can't imagine what it's like to be, you know, schools are closed, daycares are closed. I can't imagine being a parent with a toddler, you know, um, while also trying to work from home. But I feel like if it is a constant hourly stomping and running and yelling, I just feel like something should be done for the consideration of the other people that live in your complex. Don't you think? I think that is very fair personally, um, but you know. Okay, and because we just, you know, put foundation and concealer, I do wanna add a little bit of color and dimension back to my face. So I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Blush in 
the color love. Love this blush. <laughs> And I am just, a little goes a long way with this stuff. So you really want to apply light layers and then build on top of it or else you're not going to have a good time, trust me. So I'm just going to put a little bit and then decide if I want to build more. And I do want to build a little bit more. And I love how this color in particular looks on brown skin. It just looks really, really natural. All right, so now I'm going to um, powder my face with the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder. I love this thing. This is, I'm, I use the color 56. So I just like to apply this in places that are a little bit shiny, as well as my eyelids because I have oily eyelids. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet who has oily eyelids. Does anyone else have oily eyelids? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do are my eyebrows. I really like the shape of my natural brow anyway, so I'm just going to fill in some sparse areas in the shape of my natural brow. Oh, by the way, this is the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil been using this for over a year. It is my favorite eyebrow product because it is so skinny. You can see it is so skinny. Um, so I like a really precise brow just because I have a very um, small round face. So I really like having a like precise brow, you know what I'm saying? To give some, give me some angles to my face. And I like using this for that. And I use the color Ebony. The next product that I'm going to use is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners, favorite liquid eyeliners of all time. And I'm just going to draw my signature baby wing. All right, and we're gonna finish off this look with a lip color. And there you have it, folks. My super quick, easy, and simple everyday makeup for 2021. Super simple, but still super pretty and put together. So again, if you're interested in the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation, I will leave that information in the description box down below, um, along with, oh, <laughs> wrong brush, along with the brush. Um, one thing I do want to mention is the reason why this is only $20, like the reason why Sephora Collection is able to keep their costs down is because you'll notice that like all of their products, like None of them are packaged in extra packaging, like it's not in a box or anything. They're kind of all packaged in like shrink wrap and that's pretty much it. So it cuts down on packaging costs and it's also better for the environment just because you're not using like all this extra packaging, but um, it does cut down on the packaging costs. So that's why they're able to like keep the um, price of the actual product so low. So you're still getting like a really nice quality formula and a nice quality product, but you're just not paying for like all the packaging, extra packaging costs and things like that. So one of the things I really like about Sephora collection, and as you can see, the product does speak for itself. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, this lighting though. <laughs> All right. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, outfit of the day, girls. I'm wearing this jumpsuit that I just got from a small brand called Alex Mill. They have really, really cool like um, jumpsuits and sweaters and things like that. So I'm wearing this navy blue um, jumpsuit. I actually got this in a size medium because I wanted it to fit 
a little bit big, you know what I'm saying? So I got this in a size medium. It has like a little belt that you can cinch the waist and, and um, yes. And um, here, here you go. Nothing much to see here, except that I'm wearing my white Air Force Ones. And then my, um, what do you call this? Work pants? Work pants, I guess. <laughs> slacks. And a white t-shirt. Slacks, yeah, there you go. Slacks and a white uh, shirt, button-down shirt or button-up shirt. Don't know which one. And button-up. Button-up. And I was wearing sweater earlier, but I think I'm going to be too hot in the car because my daughter is always cold. So what I'm going to do is wear my scarf, and then if it gets too hot, I'm just going to take it off. So, that's it. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to wear these boots that I just got from a brand called Naturalizer. Now, I've never heard of this brand before, but my mom told me that this was really popular. This brand is really popular in the 90s. So, I mean, these boots are made really, really well, so I can't wait to wear them. And then they also sent me a little backpack, so I'm going to wear that today as well. And this jumpsuit is like a work. It's like uh, skin toe boots. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I'm cute. Maintenance. Maintenance, Maintenance here. <laughs> Clean up on aisle seven. I literally look like a maintenance worker. This is hilarious. But it's so cute. <laughs> These are so big. Yeah, so I'm waiting for my other order from Amazon of poly mailers to come in. So while we were waiting for that to happen, we went to Staples to get some other poly mailers, but I guess I didn't check the, <laughs> the size correctly. So I had this big, huge thing. And so I had to like, you know, from the movers. <laughs> you know, so now it looks like this, um, but it's fine because she's going to get her package and she's, Gonna be happy with what's inside, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right, that took much longer than expected. <laughs> um, but we're back home now. I'm going to change into my inside clothes. Um, side note, this is like my second uh, like jumpsuit or like boiler suit that I have. Um, this one's super comfortable because I got it in like a bigger, like more oversized loose fit. I freaking love this thing. It's just like one piece and it's so comfortable and I don't know. It's like really good to run errands in because it also has like these big pockets so I can put like my phone, my wallet, my keys and it's not like a big problem. I don't know. I understand why like maintenance people wear stuff like this because it's great. I totally understand why they do that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to create my um, vision board on Photoshop. By the time this video goes up, that vision board video will already go up, but I'm just going, I'm gonna make my, vi my vision board tomorrow morning, but I wanna make sure that I get the proper photographs and put them in a um, Photoshop document so that I can print it out and it will be good to go for when I put it in the frame and everything tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that right now. I love Pinterest, you guys. Um, I have a full, like if you guys wanna follow me on Pinterest, I'll put the um, 
my link right here and in the description box down below but i have a bunch of great stuff on there that i'm always updating pinterest is my home <laughs> i love pinterest it's my safe space so if you want to follow me go ahead and follow me on pinterest um but yeah i'm just gonna put this together right now All right, um, what a weird day. The country is on fire. <laughs> and um, I spent, I didn't do as much self-care as I thought I was going to do today just because I was glued to my phone like the entire day. I mean, I did finish my vision board, but like I was spending so much time on social media and it was like, I don't know, I got like sucked into it and I started to spiral. So I decided to put my phone down and I'm like, okay, we're gonna do some actual uh, self-care today. So um, I put my phone away and now I'm gonna actually do some, um, some self-care. I'm really gonna try to unwind right now. I don't want to, I don't need to be tuned into what is going on right now. I really need to like take a break. <laughs> So let's do some self-care, shall we? We'll start with an inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, 